All right, guys, got a good video lined up today. We're gonna to be taking a look at 300 blackout in the jail blocks. Got some different rounds here. We're gonna be starting out, uh, probably actually start heavy and go down. So we've got a 200 grain Sierra Game King loaded up. That's subsonic. Uh, this is a 150 grain Hornady SST a 125 grain spear TNT bullet. That's a hollow point as well. Uh, a 125 grain Hornady SST and a 110 grain Hornady GMX bullet. This is a monolithic bullet, all copper. The others are traditional cup core, uh, lead bullets, jacketed expanding bullet of some some type. Um, the 150 grain SSTs are designed more for the velocity thresholds of your 308s, 30 out six. The 200 grain uh, Game King, we'll see how it does. We'll take a, take a couple shots at the block. We'll be using this. This is another build of mine. 10 and a half inch barrel, 300 blackout. That's what we'll be sending them out of. So you know if it expands out of a 10 and a half, you know from a 16 inch barrel you're you're going to get expansion there as well too so well i'm actually gonna i'm not going to run through the boring process of running everything through a chronograph and then coming back and looking at the data what i'm going to do is i'm going to set the chronograph up in front of the block so we'll get the velocity of that bullet as it impacts so we'll go out to the range and take a look okay so you can see here we've got the chronograph set up in front of the jail block uh, this jail is getting a little smoky, so it's probably be one of the last videos to do with it. Uh, got four layers of denim on the front, and first up is going to be the 200 grain Sierra Game King. So let's run it through it, see how it does. Okay, so you can see our wound track. This is actually one that skipped out of the top. So that discard that wound track. But what we've got is you can see this little small wound track down here. And you can see it go down and then you get this wider track. What actually happened here was the bullet tumbled. There was, wasn't any expansion, but it did tumble once and then it made a hard left. That's right in the center of the block that that shot is. And it made a hard left and exited our second block right here. So large bullet, long bullet, tumbling in the jail. We didn't capture it. I'm not gonna shoot the block up trying to catch one. We know it didn't expand. So we know penetration is what it is. It's at least 17 inches. So moving on to 150 grain SST. <clears throat> okay, so we did get expansion on that one. There's the plug, there's some jacket. But as you can see, it made a hard right turn and exited our block right here. So since that one did expand, uh, I will go ahead and run another one of those through it and we'll see if we can catch it because I want to see what that bullet looks like. All right, guys, so we did get expansion. You can see this wound track right here. That's our second shot. That's from our first one that exited the block. You can see there is some fragmentation there a little bit. That's from our first shot, of course, out of this wound track. But uh, decent looking wound channel, really, for a bullet that big coming out of a blackout. Get to our second block, and there's some, some lead, some copper fragmentation there, and there's our bullet. Now our bullet didn't do like it was designed, open up like a little flower, but the tip actually, it, it did something. So that's good. 
And let's see where we're measuring at here. That bullet is resting right at 22 inches. Next up, 125 grain spear TNT. All right, guys, we got expansion again. That one was a little bit more violent. You can see the wound track right here. Travels down, you can see, starting to see some jacket right there, some jacket right in here. Quite a bit of fragmentation once it gets into about 11, 12 inches. Something interesting once we get over into this other block, that is the entire cup. That's the whole jacket. And it looks empty from, from where I'm looking at. But on down, you can see there's two large lead fragments there, and that's the, the actual bullet, the lead core that came out of that cup. But it went to 25 inches is the farthest point that that reached, but just thought it was interesting that that whole bullet kind of separated. All right, next up, 125 grain SST. All right, that's what I'm talking about right there. That's the wound track coming in. You see violent expansion, some jacket fragment everywhere. This block's shot, there's, there's so much stuff in it. Uh, nice wound track all the way down. Still seeing a little bit of jacket separation. Uh, fragmentation there, traveling into the second block. Let's line this back up a little bit. And there it is, picture perfect performance. Not, I mean, the, it's all intact. There's some fragmentation, but not a not a, a whole lot. But that looks more like a bullet's supposed to whenever it expands. So let's see what kind of penetration we got. And there you have it, 24 and a quarter inches to the leading edge. Not bad. Next up. 110 grain GMX all copper bullet. Let's see how it does. Okay, guys, not sure what angle is going to give us the best view here, but you can see that is actually the wound track looking from the top, and it's kind of being hidden by one of the, the other wound tracks, but you can see that real dark black spot it's still expanding that that's got good expansion there and that wound track uh it's that real dark line right there that's the 110 grain that's the tip from this wound track but violent expansion it didn't take long to open up of course no fragmentation in that one because it's all copper but there she is, and look how pretty. That is picture perfect. You can see the tip is actually still in the bullet, but that's that's excellent uh, expansion. So, taking a look at our depth here, let's scoot this over. Looks like the leading edge is right, just a, about an eighth over 20 inches even, which is kind of surprising. I figured the, the solid, uh, monolithic bullet would go a little deeper than that but it did expand quite a bit so <clears throat> can't complain too much so from your left to your right 110 grain gmx hornady 125 grain hornady sst uh the lead core from our 125 grain tnt and that's our 150 grain sst so you can see as the weights start to get a little lower with uh, the rounds in this blackout, the, the speeds start to go up and you start to get a lot better performance. So I think these two are our top performers, depending on what you're wanting. More expansion, less penetration, less expansion, more penetration. So I think those are, we're well, gonna give those two the, the nod as being the the desired rounds out of this barrel itself. So there you are.
All right, guys, if you liked today's video, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe. Come back to us next week. We're going to be doing a 380 gel test, taking a look at how some of those rounds perform. Check out my Instagram page, and I've got a Facebook page as well now, so I'll be posting pictures and upcoming video news there. So thank you, guys. Talk to you soon.